Maybe we can go do the levers now? Ding! Radiation's done. Cool. Now to find the ignition controls to start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I'm coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. How could you say that after what that dude said? He straight up told you you murdered them. Quickly, quickly, the air is new. The little faces turn no madness. They suffocate. They suffocate. Daddy, daddy! Now, madness. Set them free. Set them all free. I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children! My time is come! More pig! More pig! He loves his bacon. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that the end? No. Oh. Okay. And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. <laughs> this civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. What? Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this, tiny cogwheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that upon reflection we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by what, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotage his body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn into new motion? And he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Oh. So he electrocuted himself. I guess that explains his amnesia. Sort of. Kind of? Maybe there was something else at play too, though. So the dude went crazy, killed his kids, and created a giant machine that makes pig people, and then decided it was a little too far. Ooh, gay. Where are they? Where are my children? What? Where do you ask, Mendes? Yeah. You know the answer well enough. I can say that. 
Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the soldering process may indeed vaporize its source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast. They risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Dude, how? Wow. Our guy was an absolute monster. What the hell, dude? Jesus. Okay, what are we doing here? Do I have to break that? Brother, are you are you not are you not connecting the dots, my dude? Oh, Jay Feldy, you beat me to it. Thank you, Jay Feldy. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think this guy is connecting the dots, chat. Did we go back down here? No. Nope. I don't think so. Unless can we jump into here? No. Nope. Okay. He's in full-on denial mode? I guess so, man. He doesn't seem to be a dot connector. Yeah, who's the voice talking to you? Some dude. Sounds like a... Sounds like us. And, um... Yeah. I think we're supposed to do something in here, but can't do that. Okay, this. Not going out there. Maybe we do have to go to the pipes. Huh. Yeah, okay. I guess I guess we have to. All the pipes, like the uh, the kid thing it was talking about. Plug those things you pulled back in. No, I think the whole point is that we had to make the steam stop so we can go into the pipes like the kids did. At least I think. But I'm not quite sure how we get into the pipes. We can't seem to jump here. Maybe I do need to plug those things back in. Yeah, maybe the steam shutoff valve is what was there. Now we need to plug those back in to make things happen down here. Hey, Mirabella. Alarm! Alarm! Mm -mm. Can we go in here? Oh, here we go. What about down here? Will it hurt? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me. Oh, dude, I got some bad news. I think that's definitely you. Nobody tell him. Hmm. 
Dude, what is going on here? Uh, I was gonna say I'm I'm about to pass out or something. This is this is not working. Hey, Mr. Stop. What's up, bud? Um, there's a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins, that then you used it to dig a hole to to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? Got me, dude. Vent access only at low pressure. Who wrote that stuff? Our character, I believe. Crizzle, I did, yeah. Oh, can we not get through here? Oh, we can't get through here yet. Oh, I need that pipe. Assuming we need, what, four from the looks of it? There's one. Nice, Kinko. Oh wait, maybe maybe we don't need the pipe. Oh. Do we need the pipe? Ha, nope. Ha ha. You live in there now. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Dukes! Oh, not really. Bad dukes! Woo! Can you climb ladders? I hope not. So done with partisans for now. Uh, I may jump back in here and there, but I'm definitely still playing scary games and we've got um, Amnesia Rebirth soon. We're gonna be doing Fear 2 today, uh, Hades this evening. We've got, oh, excuse me, uh, Salasta as well. And um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Watchdogs down the road. 
Yeah, Doom DLC. We'll probably check out the Doom DLC. Oh, the new game from Until Dawn. The Until Dawn devs, yep. We'll be checking that out too. Or the pigs killing everyone? Oh, dude. Is co dropping frames? No. Why is this guy naked? Oh god. Jesus. Mandus, I know you are out here. I own this city. I am this city. No! This is not what I meant. This is not what I meant at all! No one misses the poor. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. The pri this privilege, this pretension. These so-called leaders, these pillars of society, these rich and fanciful, they wear their filth on the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them, and then we will feed from them. went through here once. Was there another way we could go through here? This is where we were before, right? Oh my god, listen to this music. We go back that way. Can we jump over that? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Response, my boy, Mandis. Yeah. Ow. 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 Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I can... I can't really escape from that at that point. I think I just have to keep running here.
creature! Where are my children? Where are my children? Not the sharpest marble chat. Talking to himself? No machine blades for Fatty Bishop and Gluttonous Heiress. Prime cuts all for the sorting bins, and the very best as always. Back in the dumbwaiter to the kitchens above, to be stewed and plumped and gravied and breadcrumbed and returned to the table for the next night's feast. And not every night you see, although we have begun to increase the frequency of the final act. Unlike the poor, the rich will be missed, given time. We will continue to spoil and ready them, and our fine foods are now exported to mansions and lodges across London. It has been noted in the times of late, rather the how rather overweight the great and the good are becoming with their diets of fine wine and rich meat. Indeed, in Punch just last week, a cartoon showed Viscount Selwyn as a stuffed pig laid upon a platter for his peers to dine on. A vicious and cowardly slander, no doubt, but he tasted delicious. Eat the rich. Yeah, apparently. Oh. Huh. Huh. I like how someone in the chat was like, That was a butt. That was a butt. I saw it. That was a butt. Confirmed. But. The. The trippery? I guess even evil geniuses have to have a good time now and then. Okay. It's just a bunch of couches and lava lamps in there. That's all it is. Bunch of bean bags. Okay, so I can drag this. Oh, 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 do I dump it into there? Oh, Lord, this is really heavy. Um. Uh, boop. Okay. Yeah, can I go into it? Or maybe that did something somewhere else. Probably did something somewhere else. Huh. 
I love how it's called Compound X. <laughs> nice. Who is in that tube? No, that was Compound X, bro. Didn't, didn't you see the label? I just electrocute a bunch of things. I probably don't want to do that and jump in, right? I'm guessing. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. We killed him. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too low, Commander. My great works are almost begun. Uh. Do the trippery. Piper. 